what's up you guys time is back from another linton's video today i have two fragrances from the house of clean but before i get into that just want to say thank you guys again it's an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it is that cell phone that tablet that macintosh that brand new big screen tv whatever it is wherever you are watching it it is an honor and hopefully the jokes aren't too bad where you guys smack me through the screen today so uh hopefully everything is a-okay with you guys so with that being said again it is an honor if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button leave some comments hit that like button everyone likes a nice thumbs up in the morning so that being said let's finally get in these fragrances clean i've done plenty I actually did like two or three clean fragrances before. We had clean laundry. I believe there was one that was uh, clean rain, I believe, and some other one. But we got two of them sitting right in front of me. We have clean ultimate, the ultimate clean fragrance from clean. This is the ultimate version, unisex. And then we got clean ultimate beach day, both supposedly unisex. So, let's get into these bad boys now. I'm just expecting a nice, clean fragrance, especially from this Ultimate. Maybe something to wear right before bed. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, do you guys like wearing fragrances to bed? Me, personally, I do, but it has to be certain fragrance. Can't just wear any fragrance to bed. I feel like it's got to be like one of these, per se, this clean, this one that kind of smells like Fresh Cotton, that one, that one smells great, great for the bedtime. Uh, Banana Republic, Linen Vitiver is definitely great for the bedtime, right before you're about to go to bed. You just want to smell fresh and clean. Another great one. Go check out that video too, by the way. I do have a uh, three fragrances to wear to bed. I haven't seen that many people do that one. So here we go. <clears throat> clean Ultimate. This is a 30 ml, one ounce. It's gonna be this nice rectangular bottle. Nice and simple, clean ultimate on the front. Nice big caps, pretty much a cheap plasticky, but overall, you know what? This is probably gonna be great for that nice summer vacation. Maybe you're flying spirit and you've already got too much stuff in that fanny pack and you're afraid they might charge you if you bring one too many items. So you slip this one little thing in there and then you're good to go. Can't slip a whole bottle one because they might just take it from you at that TSA. But here we go. Clean Ultimate. <sighs> Do got something over there, so we're going to have to go over here. Nothing working over there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Okay, now someone said this smells similar to Tom Ford's... Uh, Neroli Portofino in the air. I kind of get what they're coming from, but it does not smell like it's similar because they do have Neroli. They have this bright citrusy uh, smell, but Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, or even if you just check my last video out, Neroli Porto from Fragrance World, you'll see that these are very much different at the top, okay? You do get that nice, bright, orange, citrusy, white floral smell, but it does not, to me, it doesn't smell like Neroli Portofino at all. Might get little vibes of it because of that white florals, but no, this is not the same thing. But it is nice. It's got this nice white floral. It's like fresh. It's got a nice little bit of citrus to it. It's like a nice white floral, nothing too deep and rich, so it's going to be just a nice, light, uh, spray right here Now if you are gonna you know They say you should probably with these fragrances. You're just gonna wear it You know, obviously you're gonna have to probably bring it with you Or if you're only gonna be out and about for the day for about a couple of hours And this should do you like a couple of sprays should be just fine But you might want to layer this with something else just to kind of keep that fragrance going throughout the day Maybe get something that's a little bit stronger, okay? This is not that strong at all, and it's a uh, Oda Parfum as well, but it's not radiating off the skin or anything like that. It's not a Siage Bomb, 
unless the wifey can smell it. She's kind of like a few feet away from me, so I'm not sure if she smells it in the air. No, not at all. See, so it is not a sillage bomb. Um, it's definitely unisex. Definitely men and women can rock this. I would say it's a little bit more feminine, especially with those white florals right up at the top. But one thing I'm liking about this is that I did check on for Granica real quick just to see like what, just to kind of look at the note breakdowns. So I'm so glad there's no vanilla in this fragrance because vanilla is just being done by too many fragrances. It's like, you know, I want to smell fresh and clean. This pretty much has pretty much anything that you can think of as far as a fresh note throughout the entirety of the fragrance. So you got some musk in the top, you got some white lilies, you got some other fresh stuff, some citruses. And then it just fades into that white florals, fresh stuff. So it, it's good just for that to be smelling pretty much almost identical from the first spray to the last spray. Sometimes I do like uh, smelling like that throughout the whole day. Instead of a lot of fragrances have different notes, you can smell different depending on part of the day. Sometimes I want to smell the same way as when I first sprayed that fragrance on. And then this one is probably most likely going to do that, going to give you that fresh smell throughout the day. But there you go. Again, another daytime fragrance, summer, spring. It's definitely not going to offend anybody. You can wear this anywhere. You can wear this uh, outdoors, indoors. You can wear this to the gym if you want, ladies. You can wear this to work. You can wear this to school. Does not matter. Clean Ultimate, the EDP. So there's that. Next up, Clean Ultimate Beach Day. So I'm expecting this to kind of have that... A uh, beachy, maybe even sandy smell, maybe nice and airy, maybe a little bit of watery notes in here, maybe, who knows, maybe a little coconut, that'll be cool to give it that sunscreen vibe, but who knows, so there goes that box, nice kind of pink slash purple slash blue box, I'm colorblind, so I don't know what color that really was, so here we go, let's open that up, this one is not an Eau de Parfum, this is an Eau de Toilette. So it's probably going to be even weaker than this one, even though this one is already weak and it's an EDP. So here we go. Ultimate Beach Day. Again, nice square bottle. This one is a two ounce bottle this time. So a little bit bigger rectangle this time. So here we go. Go over here and see what it is all about. The sprayers absolutely suck on these things. Absolutely suck. But... I will admit, that one comes off stronger than the first one. Already, it is, it's definitely giving me that beachy vibe. Now, it's not like coconutty, but it, it smells almost like you're on the sand. You kind of got this citrusy drink, maybe like a lemonade, maybe a lemonade seltzer, because it kind of has this, kind of almost has this citrusy seltzer smell to it. Floral. Lemony, kind of sugary almost, if you will. It's definitely super bright and citrusy. Like lemony. Lemony, kind of sweet. Some florals. Wow. I'm a little bit disappointed with this uh, Clean Ultimate. This first one, going back to this hand, and it's almost gone, you guys. Um, wow, major disappointment. Let me spray one more time, but it's it's almost not even detectable anymore. That is highly disappointing. Luckily, these fragrances were only like $17 each, but even with that fresh spray, it really didn't even juice up their original spray. So this might be one of those where your best bet would be to take some unscented lotion or Vaseline, rub it in your hands and spray vigorously in your hands, rub it, and then just rub all over. That might give you a little bit extra time, but who knows? I'm a little disappointed with this one. Smells great. Honestly, this will probably be best for the bedtime when you only need to smell good until you fall asleep because you can't smell it no more when you sleep anyway. So just something to kind of calm you and soothe you down right before bed. This one there, okay? This one over here.
as much as I like the opening, the opening spray that you got in the air, I do not like this one actually. It's to me, it's not enjoyable. I don't like it. It's the citrusy, almost seltzery smell. It's kind of got this freshness to it as well, but I'm kind of not digging that. Where I said it has this kind of like seltzery smell, I'm not digging that part of the fragrance. Now, I do like the citrus in here. It's bright, it's vibrant, but that seltzery part that I'm getting from here, I do not like. Floral, citrusy, seltzery, if you will. Ultimate beach day. You know what? Maybe with some sunscreen lotion, maybe just add this. Helps the lotion smell a little bit better. Maybe it helps this smell a little bit better. Who knows? But honestly, a fan of the way this one smells. Hate the way it performs. This one smells pretty Loud, still kind of soapy almost. Maybe bubble bathish, if you will. Bubble bathy, citrusy, floral, kind of sweet, little seltzery. But no, not a fan of this one. Both of these will most likely go to the wife. I'll actually keep this one just for that bedtime. I like that one too. Hopefully, the wife enjoys. Uh, hopefully, she is not. Uh, offended by any of these fragrances that I give her. Okay, hopefully she does not uh, expect me to uh, go smack around the eBay guy that I bought these from for uh, sending these jokes of a perfume out to me. But uh, eh, it wasn't his fault. It's just clean's fault. Smells great, this ultimate, but it sucks in performance. Maybe that extra spray helped a little bit, but... The first spray, didn't really get nothing from it. This one, wow, this one's almost, I mean, it's there, but it's it's fading fast. Uh, fading fast. Pretty much jumped on stage, smacked my wrist up a little bit, and jumped right off. Pretty much that's how it is. Anyways, there you go. Hopefully you guys are not literally about to put this in that checkout cart. Hopefully you didn't actually put your credit card numbers in just yet. Hopefully you are able to find this video first and now you know not to purchase. Now you know to get rid of that shopping cart, take all the stuff out of it and you'll be saving yourself quite a little bit of money. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.